let's have a moment of uh, wow of introspection about uh, a guy who played very well here. He's going to help the Rangers a lot. Yes, he is. I watched that team. Season. A guy who has kind of been invisible, making you understand that maybe he wanted to go since he's already demanded to yep. go. Yep. But I feel sad. Like my kid, Vladdy's his favorite player. I know there's a lot of kids around St. Louis who love that guy. But it's a business. It's a business. business. And you know what? You got your best years out of 91. You did. And you know what? Thank God uh, Doug Armstrong didn't do a knee-jerk reaction whenever Vladdy wanted out a couple years ago when his stock was at uh, nothing. They figured it out. He had a damn good year. Now you got a first-rounder. You got Sammy Blay. You got the Skinner Skinner kid. You got the Skinner kid that's probably not going to play. But who cares? I like Nico Mikula. He's going to fit right in as a sixth defenseman there, blocking shots, doing his thing. That's going to help them in the playoffs. I know I they like Tucker, but he's pretty good. I thought Mikola was good. Like, Mikola's 28 years old. Tucker could play and do the same thing. Mikola's probably going to make Mikula 2.5 was your guy, million. Though. I, I can't know. remember how many times, but it was a bunch where you'd say Mikola was out there hitting guys. Yeah, he was, and blocking shots and getting pucks out of the zone. But he was making 1.5 or 1.9, whatever it is. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna make a lot, probably another million bucks added onto that. That's that's a lot of money for for a guy that you could fill that same role with a Tyler Tucker. It makes sense to me. Army gets Sammy Blay back. Sammy Blay was got hurt the first damn game over there. I remember something like that. Out for the whole year. Then he comes back. He doesn't do anything. But the other night, they're playing against Calgary, and it was a shite show. Sammy Blake catches Milan Lucic center ice. Boom! Sit down. I don't care. Listen, he might not have uh, produced in New York. We know what Sammy Blake could do. He was a big part of that damn Stanley Cup. He put guys on their back. He's a he, he's a he's only 26, 27 years old. You got him back. You also got Booch Navich for, for Sammy Blake. So it all kind of comes back around. I wake up this morning again. I love Vladdy. You go down to the games, there's 91 jerseys everywhere. That guy was a superstar here. He came out of the gate hot. He's top 10 in everything. But now he's gone, and it's now time to move on. I don't know if that rhymed, but it was pretty close. I don't well know, said. I don't know what, what that good? sound. I don't know what sound we have. It's pretty good. Okay. I don't know what sound we have, so I'm going to speak slowly to see if we can play catch up. Um, but there was a good bite from Barubi on his relationship with uh, – with Vladdy. Yeah. Where he basically said, hey, one easy. But he, he said Vladdy was a pro. Like, they put it behind him, move yep. on, which sometimes even on radio, you got to do. You got to do too. That's um, right. But I mean, that, but he was pretty honest that there were times where it got really, really bad. You get when he coach and a player, ahead. you always have battles and things, but it was never personal. It was always move on the next day, you know, like, and, uh, I respect Vladdy for that because, you know, there was a lot of tough moments and and, and conversations that weren't, uh, you know, the best. But, listen, he never never held uh, a grudge, and neither did I, and move on and focus on the next day and get going again. There you go right there, baby. Professional. That's how you do it right there. Army, too. I mean, Army said nothing but glowing things about Vladimir Tarasenko and his family and his, what, almost 13 years with the organization? 13 years. 11 seasons. A lot of great memories at the end of the day. It's a business. It just makes sense to move on it for does. both parties at this point. It you does. got the you got the best decade out of Vladdy. You got a cup. You got a ton of goals. Ton of fun. Man. Ton of playoff appearances. Let somebody else pay him till he's 30. Exactly. Let him let somebody else pay him out when he's slowing down. Fine with me. You got the best years out of him, like you said. And you know, I remember seeing Vladdy for the first time. We we're doing a uh, fantasy camp in Chesterfield when we we're all at the Chesterfield ice rink. And that's when all the Blues would skate. The current guys would skate. And he just got drafted, and he's here. He's a young kid. And I remember playing with Kovalchuk at the time, fellow Russian. And he goes, oh, this kid's going to be special. And I remember going to Vladdy. He had a smile on his face, talked to me. He goes, you know Kov-. His English was His English was probably better back then than it is now, to be completely honest with you. It's funny how that works. But he's like, uh, you know, he just was really friendly, really cool. And again, man, like, they needed a superstar at the time. Vladdy came in. Right out of the gates. He had that flow. He had it all. He had a shot flying around 100 miles an hour. And this city just took him in. And, you know, his kids were playing. Everywhere he went, like, people would see him. Like, he just, yeah, man. (laughs) Now we're (laughs) Now we have seller's remorse. I give him credit, too, because there was a lot of expectations. And he lived up to them. Yeah, he did. You know, like, sometimes. That's right. Many times it doesn't work out. I'm just curious with the day is. So you're happy with the return. Yeah. You're fine. Yep. Seth, you're happy with the return. Yes. 
I like it. Charlie? No. Nah. Just for argument's sake. <laughs> what do you expect? He no, had a no trade. Want, I know. Okay. He's going to New York. No, but I think people that are complaining on social media, like Vladdy probably only said I'm going about three places. Florida, Tampa, New York. I'm just asking, are we, are we okay with the return, Nate? Absolutely. There Come you go, on. Nate. What up, right. Nate? Boy? What up, boys? How you doing, man? Man, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Good to be back with everybody. God, you look refreshed. That looked badass in Vail, man. How was it? How was oh, the snow? It was badass. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I skied five good days, four at Vail, one at Beaver Creek. We had a lot of fun. It was a good group. Did you miss us? No. No. No, he, no, he did not. No, no he well, did I'm not. I'm glad to see that everybody got along just fine. Well, in my of course we yeah. did. No issues. I'm glad. Of course we did. I thought that the show's morale would go up with me leaving. I mean, you know, obviously <laughs> I'm a bit of a firework, so I thought in leaving it would, you know, the – it would just skyrocket. It would unite us. You know. take, maybe the show would take flight, but mm, <laughs> I guess there were some balloons that brought you down or something like that. Well, I had one in my backyard a couple days ago <laughs> while you were in Vail. I was dealing with China. Yeah. You know what, Nate? You're a smart guy. <laughs> well, so how, how are your legs feeling, homie? You know what? They feel good. They, um, my, my routine would be uh, we'd get up. We hit the first chair almost every morning. So, like, well, we were up at 8. We'd have a little breakfast. Get on the shuttle, 8.15, you're there, take the gondola up, and then boom, hit it. And I'd ski with uh, the group that I was with for a while, and then I would go. On your own? And cruise and do my own thing. Like scary stuff? Yeah. I mean, not no, I wouldn't say scary. Like, there were a couple of runs over five days that I did that, uh, you know, most would. Put some hair on your balls a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. I, but, see, I like skiing through the trees, so oh, God. I'm constantly going through trees and bumps and steep do you come out of do you ever come out of one of those and hit that jump and wasn't expecting no, it okay no all right no i didn't leave the resort this time i, I behaved good for so. you how, do, how was your uh how was your work in the lodge the Eric, work that's in a the good lodge question, <laughs> the work Don't in the lodge lodge work what do you think he's talking about <laughs> how was that like to be you- honest with you there it was not uh veil is a tough place to to wheel to yeah yeah because let's be honest if uh, they're there, they're with. They're with some dads. Some they're with some big dads. hitters. Vale is not for uh, you know a a measly radio host. Or, yeah, you just lie to them. Yeah. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. Well, I, I, like own, you I own the damn station. Before. Yeah. This is a little different crowd. Yeah. Hey, we're listen. Talk- <laughs> I don't like. Hey, I don't like to hear you. You're a very confident man. It it makes me sad that you're like. Yeah, that probably wasn't. My world. You could you could excel in any world you choose. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, it's a tough game out there, man. It's a big ball listen, game there, you, you don't have five chicks like, hi, guys, let's go to Vail together and ski. We'll drive out to the – no, no, you're with dudes, okay? It's like uh, down to Lake of the Ozarks. Like, girls aren't going to go out there and drive a boat around. No offense, that ain't happening. You're gonna, you're gonna, it's, they're always with some dude with a boat. Like I love dudes. There's some t- places that they're going to be with their significant other. That was Charlie who said that. I do. He loves them. But, yeah, I get you. That's, that's cool, though, man. That's cool. What, what is that? Patagonia? Wear, like, a turtleneck from Patagonia? <laughs> have a sift or a brandy? Who yeah. knows? Sit there. You can ma- play the piano at one you, of the nice lives. You can lives. have successful operations that, in that realm. You're probably right. I I wouldn't say it was um, a goal. Like, I, it was hard to focus on a whole lot of that. Hey, you ski all day. You have a couple beers afterwards. You hit the hot tub. You go out to dinner. And boom, if you can keep your eyes open past 10, 8, 10 o'clock, I mean, good for you. I couldn't. Dude, where's you out, man? Yeah. You didn't have candlelight dinners with men. No. Nah. No, we nah. found this cool place. There's a town about a few miles outside of Vale called Minturn. And uh, there's a kind of a famous place that's been open for 32 years or something called the Minturn Country Club. And you go and you pick out your own steak. You would have hated it, Cam, but you grill your own steak and you kind of why sit would I around hate that? And, I don't know. It just seems like I, I could see you being like, well, why would I want to cook my own steak? I'll just have somebody else cook know, my that? steak. Yeah, because I'd rather cook my own so steak at I. home, to be honest with you. Now I think about it. No, oh, no. At home? 
I like cooking steak on my my little Weber. I know exactly what to do. But if I want to go to a restaurant, I want to try somebody else's, especially if it's a nice yeah. restaurant for sure. But I'd do any anything like that, man. We we experiment, Kate and I. We do we eat anything, go different places. Damn right. The steak was fine. It was more of the experience, you know. That's kind of the thing to do. Was it's it a snooty a in there? Spot. No, Sounds like a snooty at all. country no. club. No, Jimmy and I, old school. Oh, nom, nom, nom. That was the part of the meal where you get the full experience and go back and do the dishes in the kitchen. Yeah. We love that. <laughs> and place. sweep up after. We love that experience. <laughs> the guy who owns the place is a mag- uh, card magician. So he came over and he did like five tricks. And I mean, you know, it was a whole showmanship. I It was much. It was cool. It was a lot. Do you a see lot any fun. wildlife? We saw a fox. Uh, nothing scary? No, nothing, nothing too scary. scary. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. No. Now, something nothing happened while you were away outside yeah. of, uh, you know, a little choppy water. But we became sort of an NBA show. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, Cam said, if I have to talk NBA one more I'm day, I'm, I'm done. I'm walking. I'm quitting. So yesterday on Twitter. You ain't quitting. Which I go, I'm quitting. If Cam goes, I'm I going go, to the so. 12 to 2 show with Nate. <laughs> there you go. So on Twitter yesterday, because I, I was kind of amazed how the LeBron Michael thing kept going. So I tweeted this. Cardinals top three questions heading into spring training. One. Will Jack return to form? Two, will they have enough offense without Albert? And three, is Michael better than LeBron? And I did a sort of parody, kind of I thought it was funny. I think it might have been lost. And Do you people, think that's funny, Cam? People oh, took, it's hilarious. People took, well, it was kind of like, for me, it was sort of satire. Like, that question has been in St. Louis like a huge thing. So I put on there as, as sort of like satire. And then people started answering the LeBron Michael <laughs> thing. Because, I mean, can you imagine? You, Topical. You put out there cardinal questions, spring training, and people are still arguing about Michael and LeBron. Yeah. It kind of tells you that there's something to that. We got caught up in it on yeah. this show, and we're not an NBA show. Yeah. I think we could be, though. I think we proved we could yeah. be a, an NBA show. Yeah. Well, I watched Cam, Cam was engaged. 12 to 2, Nate. <laughs> this is a diverse so give me a program seat. here. You give never me a know. Seat. <laughs> Lovely morning, boys. Jackie, I don't know where you're at, but it looks cold as hell. Turn up Cat's, Cat's damn mic, please. I need to hear his rights holder takes when they eventually come, Wombat. Guys, did I just hear a Metrodome in studio or can of dip? Uh, that was probably me. Let's see here. I've already seen blue-haired uh, Twitter turds saying good riddance to the classy to classy because he's Russian. You mean Vladdy because he's – yeah, I see a lot of that, man. People are bashing Ovi and God nonstop. Based on them being Russian? Yes. It, how – isn't that something? That's isn't funny. that something? Yeah, I, I thought everybody – oh, God, I, I do, can't keep I up with I do with laugh that. when there's – people don't know even how to gauge when there's a political element to something that shouldn't be political at all. You're like, Russian? I, they hate, gonna they hate, hate Russian. You're going to hate a player from Russia? Mm-hmm. I disagree with that. You That's should? actually – I have a source that said that's why Army traded Vladimir Tarasenko yeah. was because of his I, his take on the <laughs> Russia Ukraine conflict. Dude, like even Pasternak, they're at the All Star game. Pasta goes and it takes a picture with Ovi and just gets berated because he's taking a picture with one of the greatest. <laughs> just you psychos, get out of here! Can't take you seriously. Can't do it. We live in an age psychos. where psychos, where maybe. Overboard about trying to Jesus. treat people as who they are, right? <laughs> and now because he's from a country in that that had nothing to, and he had nothing to do with, <laughs> we're gonna suddenly kill him. And it kind of kid, makes no sense. Obi's four-year-old kids getting tortured. These people, they're crazy. By the way, let me just preface this by saying I love, I love the United States of America. We've also done our invading over the years, bit. a little, a little bit. bit, just a. Just a, a little bit. A bit. Now, I love the United States of, of America. We also, we, yeah. we dabble. A little bit. We dabble. A little bit. As yeah. a nation. Yeah. I'm for regime change. <laughs> I mean. Vladdy was great. My daughter had a hockey game after his kids one day, and he came into the locker room and said hi to all the kids and took pictures with them. Spartan 4-4. That story's all over. Dude, he would go right in the locker room, say hi, do his thing. But he was also, like, you know, he doesn't want to come up like, hello, everybody, I'm Vladdy. Like, he's, he'll sit there, and you come up to him, he'll be nice to you. But, you know, he's not like a going to walk he's a, into he's a room. A sh- he's a shy guy anyway. Very he shy is. Guy. He's yeah. a shy So people, 
if he's like didn't come up and hug everyone in the room, that's yeah. just not who he is. Exactly. I had a buddy who was at the airport when yeah. they when they flew back from Boston after Game Seven, and they said that he was the nicest guy. And I know he was riding high, and oh. everybody was in a good mood, obviously. Yeah. But they said that he was hugging everybody and and talking to everyone. Oh and, man! And uh, there was really a, a chemistry there between him and the and all the people that that came to visit. He was a superstar, man. They were due for a big superstar. Osh was one. Vladdy came on the scene and said, "No, I'm gonna I'm taking over the. Remember Osh, the wave of Oshie jerseys, dude. It took a little while. It took a little while, and then it turned into '91. And that's he did everything he could, man. And he won you a dance. Look at some of the highlights. He some of the highlights even against Boston. You were looking at a couple of those, Sutty boy. I mean, he put guys down. He made that play to make it three nothing. We're all like, oh. Remember, he goes in the corner, hits the guy, like turns, spins off one timer to Braden Shin in the slot, three nothing. Over. It's over. You won the cup, baby. On that four check, they were flying down the other ice. Pasta, Marchant. They had to puck the whole game, and all of a sudden they dump it in. Vladdy wins a battle, makes a play. The game was effing over. 91 did that, baby. With one arm. Saw him in the locker room one time. He had, like, pins in his arm and one arm. He looked like Gronkowski. Well, that's the thing. Look, even though he still got his money for those next two years, don't get me wrong, he was paid handsomely. Yeah. But you could make the argument that him playing hurt and helping the Blues win their first ever cup, in a way he sacrificed the next two years. I mean, yeah. he, he wasn't the same right, until last year when he came back and had arguably the best season of his career. It was points-wise. And who knows what would have happened that next year. Remember, they were riding high going in, and then, of course, COVID hit and whatever. But they had the team still. They had the team. Man. And everyone wrote him off. Yeah, I know. You know, with the shoulder. Everyone wrote him off. Yeah, they did. Credit to him. I mean, he was gone a while. He you said, didn't hear much. Screw you. Yep. I'll show you. And – he proved it. Now, I don't think anyone could doubt that he's going to be very impactful. I'll watch that Rangers team. Post game. Post I root for them, man. Right? I mean, Damn right. That's what he lives for. That, that's where he's been at his best. Panarin goes against Putin. Took heat for that. I like that Panarin. He'll score a goal. He's got the flow cruising. And every time he scores, he takes his, ki- his leg and he does like a high kick. Like, yoink. Very scary. Give me the analytic breakdown on Skinner. Go. Don't know. <laughs> he's a big kid. I looked him up. 6'3", no, 6'2", 183, uh, fourth-round <laughs> pick, I believe 112 overall, Nothing I believe a right-handed shot. Nothing wrong with Depth that. guy, Army said, to replace, essentially, Tucker in the minor league. Some minor league depth. There you go. But I also looked at the same stuff you did, and I saw one when he was young. It was like he's 6'1", 180, and I was like, that's not big. But that was his info. Then I saw one where he was 6'3", 205. Yeah. 6'3", 205. That's big. That's a good size defenseman. And my my, I was like 5'11", 205 my first three years in every single booklet. And I was like, I was 217. So it's like, that was my draft whenever I was drafted when I was 18. I was 205 or Are something. Are you 5'11"? 5'11", 3 like- fourths. Round up. But I like to stay under six foot because I'm like top 10 toughest guys under six foot ever. But when you're, <laughs> when you were coming up, don't, didn't you want to be six foot? Like, you don't no, wanna- I wanted to be 6'4". No, I'm saying in the listing. If they could have put you, yeah. they always exaggerate up, usually. Not on mine. With height. Not on mine. But, no, I, I like to be under six foot. It makes you look like, you know, no, I'm, I'm not even six foot, and I'll beat your ass. I like that feeling, you know. Morning, boys. Welcome back, Nate. Glad you got back safely. Glad that Vladdy drama is finally over. Wish him well. Happy Friday, Sharon. Yeah, it's Friday, baby. What's a rob-off means? Oh, he knows. You beat me to it. He knows what's up. Happy Halloween, everybody. Nate, did you toe drag any cougars in Vail? <laughs> <laughs> They're there, but if you start toe dragging them, that rich husband's going to be like, get, get away, peasant. <laughs> Cam, long time no talk. I heard a wolf outside your place. La- I heard a wolf outside your place last week. It wasn't a coyote because it was a l- legit howl. He was trying to get into the, get to the geese in the pond, ball and bandit. Dude, I told you there was a wolf hybrid. That coyote wolf that I showed you the picture of, they found in Jefferson County, who was gigantic looking. You know, right after How the. How far was that hun- from you? T- 10 miles. Now, the cougar was down the road. That was in Franklin County. You saw that. Well, you've been gone. Yeah. You saw that they monster. Catch, they capture it no, yet or no? They don't oh, know boy. where that son bitch is. Oh. 200. That thing was jacked. In your garage. I staring. Don't. Dude, I wake up and I got windows everywhere and I'm just like, is that no that's does the, the animal whatever service 
Do they are they in active pursuit? Yep. Or they are. Mm-hmm. And they can't find it now. They're because it's in other people's property. And I think that if OPP. I if I if I is that what that means? Hey, you know me. If I kind own of. property and I saw this majestic animal on my property that doesn't do anything to my chickens, that doesn't hurt my livestock, I don't want some people coming in here and taking it away or killing it. I'd say no, you can't. If I own property and I didn't, it wasn't a threat. Will you watch that thing here and there, and it just stays away from you? Just people, man, these good old boys out there. I'm telling you, Charlie, they respect the animals and their property. They don't want that thing gone unless it's terrorizing. If they have kids, their livestock, dogs. These old, guys, these old are all like 50 years old. I'm talking about these old school cats that own a thousand acres out there. So you think about mountain lions? Grandkids, you know, there's no grandkids dogs. flying around. They don't. I don't what know. if they have like a little foof dog named Muffy? They don't. Them good old boys don't got that. They don't got that. That's an hors d'oeuvre. They don't got that. They don't play that game. The snack. Yeah, I don't know what happened that. Good morning, fellas. Made a stop at Block last eve. So quick and easy. Great selection. Now it's time to get my mind right this weekend. Wombat, why don't you go ahead and check my notes real quick. Speaking of Block Dispenser, how are the lines, by the way? How are the they, It is easy, man. Even it's if there is a line. to get your money ah. right with Cam's Notebook. Presented by Block Dispenser. Woo! On 590 The Fan. Go there. Hey, man, get in there and get it quick. You got all weekend, baby. You got Super Bowl. Hell yeah. Let me look at my notes. Glad he got traded. You guys hear that? What? Yes. To, to the Rangers. You'd rather be gutted alive by a mountain lion. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that, Jimmy. I don't, I so don't know. About is Sammy Blay going to play? Yeah. Nice. I just saw oh, yeah, that he, he, he during the All Star break, the Rangers sent him to their AHL affiliate because he needed to get his minutes up. Damn right. You, I, and how do he you do took that? that assignment and he he went down there. He was playing twenty minutes a night. Yep. And he even said, "Look, that was good for my confidence." And I don't know about you guys, but uh, occasionally when the Rangers would make their way to St. Louis, like Sammy would be sitting up in the uh, press box, and it just in hearing him a couple of times say. I miss this place. I think it was a tough transition for him to go to New York Hell yeah. from here. After winning the cup. You want to get role. injured immediately, too. Yep. Look you at blew your knee out right, right off the bat. And look at what Army basically said. Now we get Blay back, and now he can reestablish himself as an NHL player or something along those you lines. Hear it? Yeah. He, yeah. Yeah. Please. Obviously, we had success here with Sammy. Uh, again, and the later round pick, and I'm really proud of our amateur scouting staff for finding these guys in the – you know, fourth through seventh round that play in the league. Uh, and Blazer's one of those players, and uh, he played his, probably his best hockey here in St. Louis. And I know I talked to him. He's excited about coming back. Craig knows him. He knows how we can he can use him. Uh, and so he's going to – he needs to he needs to come back in here and stay healthy and play and, and you know, conf- confirm his spot in the NHL. And I think we have the opportunity to, to, to give him – we have the ability to give him that opportunity. Yeah, and Lou would do this all the time too. And it always seemed like it always panned out. He'd always bring guys back that he knew. Maybe they struggled somewhere. Maybe they're getting a little bit older. He knew what they had at that particular moment with the Devils, and he'd bring them back. Although even if he two or three years are doing nothing, bring them back, and all of a sudden, boom, it's back where you were. You know, you got to do your stuff. Now you're in, you're in military mode. Like, you go. He brought me back from doing all this stuff here. Going through that, and now I get back there like, okay, all right, now I'm just, okay, now I know my routine. You just know what you need to do. And I had a great year that year with the Stanley Cup Finals, man. I don't know. I don't know. But I, think I don't about mind that. that. He can confirm his spot in the NHL, basically saying he was on the cusp of not being yeah. an NHL player. In New yeah, York. when you get injured that much and then you don't do anything, like you get forgotten about, forgotten about it, forgetting, forgotten about Really easily. And so, but, you know, like, Army knows what he needs out of him. Sammy Blay's going to come back here like, yeah, okay, I get that. I know that feeling again. Yeah, and whether you're a fan of his game or not, he hits. And we need, we need a little hits. bit more of that. Hit some cats, just like you did against Luchik the other night. Don't think Army didn't see that. Milan Luchik, the scariest guy in the league. Grizzly bear. And you put him on his ass. I was hoping he would die. Then he put somebody Come else on, on his ass, their ass that night, too. It has made some plays. Yeah, all right, you're back. Let's go. Hey, get they, into they'll it. They'll all be back. Blay back. A couple years. Sonny back. Perron's coming back. Sonny will be back. They're about to trade Barbie. He'll now, be back in about three now years. Listen. They'll all be back. Perron hasn't, be back. hasn't done anything in 25 games, partner. So sit your and bitch ass down, slow. nerd boy. 
He's slow. Don't say that down. about my guy. He'll still play He's his slow. last season as a Let blue. Let me slow it down for you. His final year in the I'm NHL. He's slowed. Slowed down. Hasn't done anything in 25 games. And he wanted how much money? How much money? Well, what has Vladdy done in the last 25 games? More than Perron. Perron doesn't have a point in 25 games. Not one point. Look that up real quick, Jeez. please. Vet and verify on this here show. Just telling y'all. It's all good. No big deal. No big deal. Just so you know, I facilitated the Tarasenko trade. You're welcome. From the office of George Santos. <laughs> <laughs> I shaved my balls. That's straight up racism. Jack. Oh, no. What did we say? When Probably something you the- said. What did I say? I don't, no, no. I don't know. The, he's saying that the people who are attacking oh, Vladdy yeah. for you know his homeland is straight up racism. How about how the Blues don't play till Saturday? Oh, d- 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 don't, don't get me with started. League? What? What are you talking about? No, stupid. NH- Look, they had the All Star game and then God. no NHL teams have played since. That is n- <laughs> Wait, let me check on that. They've been, They've been playing weird. for a week. Wednesday, it's so bizarre. Thursday <laughs> tonight, a full slate. I mean, what is what? the deal? God, is that stupid. And same thing going into the break. It was like this slow drip to the All-Star break. I kept thinking, okay, when is the All-Star game during the week? No. Why would you ever have a, a – is the All-Star game always on the weekend? I don't know. Why would you do it on the weekend? Didn't they have a stupid schedule at the beginning of the year, too, where they didn't play for like eight days? Yes. God. Other teams were like uh, 12 and 0. I know. And they hadn't played yet. They already know their power play. They already made like <laughs> trades and stuff. They haven't even played a game. A team actually Stupid. won the cup already. <laughs> Vlad- Vladdy's last six games with the Blues scoreless. Yeah. He was floating, dude. He was floating. Probably yeah. thinking, imagine he would have got banged up. That would have sucked, man. Now you don't get that first. They got a couple first rounders now. You know, we'll see what Ryan O'Reilly, anybody? Anybody want him? Barbie, who? You can also, and Doug Same. Armstrong said this, now you have multiple firsts. Maybe you get another. Mm. All of a sudden, <laughs> you got two tree firsts. <laughs> you can package those. If you want an elite pick now, if you want a top five pick, right, you have some draft capital to make a deal potentially. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. By Damn. the way, how, how did you not mention the fact that Cat right now looks like Robert Goulet? He looks good. Buble? Robert Goulet. Goulet. You know who Goulet is? Yeah, he's a hockey player. But I'm guessing it's somebody else. Like a, a crooner. 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 Jinx. Crooner. You don't remember the skit from Will Ferrell, Saturday Night Live? Goulet. Yeah. I'm bringing the, uh, I'm bringing the mock back. <laughs> it's poor Charlie. Trying to get, it's probably funny. I just don't That's know. That's an iconic skit. He says some uh, racially insensitive well, things. Well, let's play yes. it. Read up on how we reacquired the Hawaiian Islands, East Side Steve, Snake Puskin. I'm good. I mean, I don't. We, we just admit it that we've uh, done bad things. I guess it is what it is. Here's the thing. I think we're a little drony poo. If, if you study human civilization around the globe, yeah. I mean, it's, human beings are not that far removed from savages. Sometimes I wonder if we're not removed from savages. Well, in some places, the world is, but yeah, not. There's, yeah, man. Everybody's taken over everybody over the years. It is what it is. But um, Cam, did you see the Kale McCarr hit? What happened to him? Uh, he Jeff get rocked? Carter rocked him. He's out That's... for a uh, couple of games here. Just a couple nope. of games. Well, I mean, you never know how these things are going to linger. But was it? His he head? took a shot to the head. Oh no! Oh yeah. yeah, no, I did see it. No, that was a goofy ass play right in front of the net where Carter's trying to forecheck, and he just clipped him a little bit, mm-hmm. and it kind of blew up, and somebody tagged me, and I'm like, I don't see. Yes, well, that wasn't it, but I didn't see anything. Sometimes you bump into each other and you get clipped. There was no intent there. His arms weren't up. They were both going for the puck. He kind of clipped his face. I had no problem with that thing. That was a wrong, wrong place at the wrong time. You bump into each other. But no, that was blowing up a little bit. Yeah, it's Cal McCarr. I, I get that. Jeff Carr is a he's a good dude. He doesn't do that kind of stuff. That was just a goofy play, in my opinion. You know what I'm talking about? So you saw the play? I saw it yeah. live. What do you think? Uh from different angles you can draw different conclusions, but I do think the fact that Jeff Carter doesn't really have a history. Oh man. I mean He ain't doing that to him. No. He didn't lift his elbow up, dude. They both kind of just clipped each other. Dude, that happens in alumni skates. We don't mean to do that. Although if Andy's got his head down. <laughs> <laughs> the Yoshi jerseys were all the fat girls and fanboys that cried when he left. No, they weren't. Dude. 
I've seen that dude firsthand, partner. Yeah, them girls so, aren't. Uh, aren't uh, no, they're actually young. Yeah, they were like but eighteen to twenty-two. Teeny, he was a teeny bopper, like he was a in sync. Have no fear. Some guys, one of the Cougs, he's in sync. You know, it is what it is. I always remember with Vladdy for one of the best sound bites. What's a rub off means the best. He knows what it means. His English got worse and worse. It didn't get worse. <laughs> I've played with guys their English gets worse. Sometimes they just don't want to talk. That, well, yeah. So they hide behind. Of course. Him. And his best sound bite was talking about Daddy Padre. That was a good one. He had all the respect in the world for a guy who put it on the line he for did. this team. In all reality, <laughs> I'm just telling you guys that what he did, he did the boys a favor. He's out there for free, getting lit up like a Christmas tree. One timers until you go blue in the face. Like, I know he loves hanging out with the dude. That's probably why he did it. But like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> He's there every game. He's have to sit up there and wait. Wouldn't you think though that I wouldn't. In, in this day and age, someone throw this guy a hundred bucks or something? The like, boys you, tipped him out. You have him. the. I know that, but yeah. For, from a league standpoint, that's like, what I mean. You could end up playing in an NHL game, you know, and you've never gotten a dollar. I know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of bush league. Now, it doesn't happen enough to where it's like, da, 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 da. but when it does happen, the other day it happened. Connor McDavid's like, get this dude in there. Goes in there against the Chicago Blackhawks with two minutes to go. He makes a nice little blocker save. Now, the Blackhawks guy's like, F you guys. What is this? Yep. What do we look like? We got Kaner on this team. What? I, I Play know. better. There it is. Play better. But you didn't have to do that. Give the guys a moment. I'm just saying. Hey, maybe don't be down four goals. Well, now you're going to mock us? I don't know. A lot to mock there. Oh, yeah. Well, they're going to get bedard, too. I was looking at some old uh, Vladdy clips randomly. Yeah. And you have the great lines. You have, happy Halloween, everybody. You have, what does the rub-off mean? Yeah. And then last, I guess it was not this past summer, right? It was the first time he met with the media because it was still Zoom during the COVID craziness. Uh, And he had requested the trade, but he hadn't really done an interview with St. Louis media. And the first question he just gets in. He's happy. Remember, he was in great shape. You could see his yeah, face. His face, his face yeah. was so lean. He yep. had gotten in fantastic shape. Yep. And I believe the first question was Jim Thomas. And he's like, well, Vladdy, you want to you know, talk about that uh, trade? And but he's like, you're not even going to ask me about how my summer was first? <laughs> <laughs> and it was so funny the way he said it because he was laughing. But yeah. you're not even going to ask me about how my not, summer went? Not how I'm doing. <laughs> not, not, you see Jim Thomas last No, it was funny. <laughs> he's so funny. Jim was like, uh, if you watch the uh, Army <laughs> <laughs> Jim's face is like cut off. You can always see his eyes. There is a malfunction there. Oh, I had to make an edit point. That's pretty funny. It happens with Zoom. No, I know. Well, where was uh, Army at? He's in is he Europe. another country in He's a hotel in Europe for two weeks. Some was weird because it was like there was like a curtain behind him. That's a na- that's the Iron Curtain. Shiny as hotel. Yeah. You know if you have a curtain, it, looked, like, it did look like it was a. He was a motel. Six. He wasn't local. It, was, <laughs> yeah. it looked like he wasn't local. Hey, you go to Europe, the hotels suck. I'm sorry, for the most part. Like, we got a lot of things over here that's just, like, completely different. Some of the hotel, the rooms are tiny. The bathrooms are tiny. It's really weird. Like, I know there's W's and Ritz and stuff like that, but who knows? He might be in, like, freaking Finland or something. If you're in a clean hotel that gives you the free breakfast bar, people like that. Hell yeah. I mean, that's a nice feature to have. A lot of fans were mad at Vladdy about the injuries. Most people don't uh, know teams insure players' contracts. When a player gets injured more than 30 days, ownership gets the player's salary back uh, purported, prorated, sorry. What sucks about the NHL and a hard cap is that the money can't be spent on another player. The Blues have been stuck with a max cap and stars injured. Banksy. Sorry, I butchered that, homie. Um, did you guys see Sammy hit on Luke uh, Luch the other night? Finally get a little excitement back in the lineup. Justin, hey, ha- uh, congrats, Maroon. Justin to Patty. 700 games. I know he had a fight freaking McDermott last night, who's a big dude, because they're up by five, because they're smashing everybody. Oh, Toronto, you want to play the Lightning? (laughs) Okay. You're going to play that Lightning team first round? (laughs) Good luck with that. There's going to be a lot of pissed off people in Toronto when they get shite stomped. By that team, they ain't messing around. This they is their year. Win. This is their year. It's got to happen sometime. They're playing lightning first round. Oh, okay. Okay. Sure. Hey, Nate, 
They replayed your Stan Fischler interview yesterday, and I wanted to compliment you. It was the best I've heard in a long time. Timmy Van Gelden. Ah, thank you. Football picks. Who wins? Sean wants to know. What do you think, Jimmy the Cat Hayes? You're going to be on a plane, but you're going to land in Florida with your feet in the sand. I'm going Chiefs. My wife's a big Eagles fan. She's a Phillies girl. Yeah. Tyler loves the Chiefs. I just think Mahomes healthy. I'm going to go with Mahomes. But, I I mean, the Eagles are, are good. You don't know. But I'm, I'm – I don't – are we doing scores too? I don't know. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go – 31-28. All right. So you like the over also. Didn't know what the over was. Mm-hmm. But 51. Jinx. That's reasonable. Yeah. 31. There's going to be some scoring. Mahomes, man. You're going to bet against him? I don't know. What about you, Charlie? So I want the Chiefs to win. When I first thought about this, I thought the Chiefs would win. And I'm wrong a lot. So this actually makes me want to bet the Eagles. And I just wonder if, because we focus so much, we only talk about quarterbacks. I know. You just wonder, are the Chiefs positionally, are they only better at quarterback? Probably, I mean, for sure tight end, although Goddard's pretty dang good. But you just wonder, are the Eagles better in essentially every other facet? Is this one of those Super Bowls where we talk about Pat Mahomes nonstop and not realize that the Eagles just win this game on the lines? I feel like that could happen. I'm going to go with the Eagles, even though I want the Chiefs to win. What score you got? I feel like Super Bowls are always – there's there's fewer points than than expected usually. They'll tighten it up. I'd, I'd probably take the under because I feel like there's some conservative play calling. Nobody wants to make a huge mistake. I don't know. The Chiefs always – they do crazy stuff. How about I go – how about I go 24-21 – Eagles. Okay. Picking, though, the Super Bowl. Like Charlie just said, you think, all right, I'm going this, and then you think, well, maybe. Like, to me, picking the Super Bowl is a lot like Seth's trivia, where you think you have the right answer, yeah. but then, you know, there's usually like a couple layers to it, so yep. then you doubt yourself. Yep. But I, so I had that same self-doubt, but I, I'm, I thought Chiefs, I'm going Chiefs. Can I change the score? Nope. No, no, no. 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 Uh-uh. Well, that's how dare you. How about how about it lands on the total? How about 27-24? Lands no, on the total. No, you already Nate, tell well, I'm me thinking can't, this through. You can't change. They don't well, do I that can change anything I want. The they line don't do it in veil. The line you could change. The line might change. I can change. We all can change. All right. Rocky 4. Change. What are you changing? I'm going to say 27-24 Eagles. Eagles cover. It lands on the total. What do you think, Nate? Uh, well, I'm not going to give a pick until uh, high noon. Jimmy's place today, noon oh. to two with Maddie Whitener. <laughs> and that's something. But and that's something. I will tell you that I have leaned Philadelphia for uh, a week and a half, and uh, something seems to be churning in my head, going back to my gut instinct. Don't overthink it. In regard to the Kansas City Chiefs, because the best player, the absolute best player on the field on Sunday is Patrick Mahomes. And if he is healthy, I I think he is a difference maker. And, uh, you know, he's also played in this game. He knows. There are a lot of Eagles players who have really, they haven't played a competitive game in weeks. They've outscored their opponents I in the know. playoffs 69 to 14. They beat a team in the 49ers that didn't have a competent quarterback because Brock Purdy got hurt. I mean, the Giants proved to be no test. They beat them three times this year. I I don't know how the Eagles will respond in a game that will be tightly contested, particularly with the Chiefs, who look like they've solved the, the riddle of special teams that has plagued them throughout the course of the season. Harrison Butker is a big, big, big foot. And he could prove to be the difference in this game. But I'll pick later today. Okay. Thank you. you. Okay. How do you game plan to stop the Chiefs? Because you have no idea where Mahomes is going to be. Like, I I get it. He had an ankle and was still able to turn the corner and get a first down. It's hard to get a clean rush on him because he's so good at evading things. And then he'll he'll pass from his ear. I know. You know, incomplete. It's hard. To, I, I don't know how you game plan. And I don't, well, especially with their schemes that they have, too. Like, they'll, like, do ring around the rosy before they go up in line. Like, they're crazy. 
Like, Greg, what are they doing? Oh, what, what? I don't know, man. What do you think, Sethi boy? You love the NFL. So I was going to say Eagles 28-24, but I'll, I'll bump it up a little bit. I'll say Eagles 30-24. to I think it'll All come right. down to the to nearly the last play of the game. Uh, fun fact, the team, they have the exact same records, and they have the exact same total points scored through this entire season. Yeah. 564, I believe. And then if Mahomes just was announced MVP last night, he would be, if he won the Super Bowl, he'd be the first – player since Kurt Warner to win regular season MVP and then win a Super Bowl it's that same happen. season. Who you got? Chiefs 31, the Eagles 7. It's going to be a shite kick. Wow. And it's going to suck. Mm, really? Mark my words on that. It's going to be a shite kicking. Interesting. They haven't got smack in the face in weeks. Nate's right on that. This Chiefs team's going to be like, no, 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 no. We know what we're done. We know. Oh, we're going to do what, what What play are we calling? Oh, what, what, what? This guy could throw with both hands, baby. They're going to kill him. And everybody's going to be pissed. That's a solid And it's going to be boring. You've rebounded beautifully from getting scared this morning. <laughs> man, that's three times in one week. I got my ass scared, man. Hey, Jimmy came in with a mask on today. Oh, I just edited the video for him. And scared I bleeped me. out your uh, curse word. Hockey Bob scared me. The p- lovely lady at the gas station who hooked me up with a paper scared me the other day. Getting scared <laughs> all over the damn place. What happens, though, if first play of the game, first offensive play of the game. He gets rocked. Patrick Mahomes gets sacked. And what was the old line? Somebody puts a little hot sauce uh, on that ankle. Oh. And all of a sudden, Chad Henney, who's my age, strolls on into the game. Oh, Lordy B. What if somebody just falls Maybe takes a penalty and just falls on his ankle. Just a little, 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 ah! no, a little twist at the end. A little hot sauce. Little, a little hot sauce. Or they step on it. I mean, that's all it takes. I mean, I don't know. He's freakish. I'm still thinking 31 to 7, shite kicking. Everybody's pissed at the world. It's over by the second half. I know. Sorry to be depressing. I'm just being, a, I'm trying to be a realist here. I just have a feeling this is what's going to happen. I don't even know be an how, ass kicking. how healthy Jalen Hurts is. I mean, he's got a shoulder that he's been dealing with. Damn. How many times in the last handful of weeks has a guy like Chris Jones come after uh, Jalen Hurts and landed on his shoulder? That's who I think is more prone to probably have an issue. The, the good Mahomes, news is, play, but, Mahomes already showed that he can yeah. win a game against probably the other best team in the AFC on one leg. So That's what I'm saying. But though. the good news is for any of the banged-up players – you know, with the off week, these two teams will have almost as much time as the Blues have had off. Almost, <laughs> not quite. That's true. Man. That's a, that's a good observation. Let's get them in, by the way. 855-282-8255. Get them in. I'll read them. Win or lose, a Philly light post will be greased. Jackie Parley's. How about the one dude <laughs> on the, you know, bus stop thing in front of everybody? <laughs> oh, yeah. And he has his pa- his wee-wees hanging out. Mm. <laughs> And he's just standing there, like, staring into the abyss with his little wee-wee hanging out. And everybody's just like, oh, look at this guy. He's just, hey, pants are down by he his ankle. standing on on the bus thing. And he's just like, hi. Hey. And his pants are down by his ankles. Did you see what <laughs> Lenny Dykstra said? What? Boy, it wasn't, even, it wasn't even that cold out. I know. Like, people were, like, chirping how small it was. And it's like, why would you do that? Like, buddy, get off. Like, go <laughs> <laughs> what are you this, doing? He looked normal too. He didn't look like a bum. It's like no, excuse me, normal clothes, and his pants were his ankles. Yeah, I think that's normal. Anyone see the news yesterday that China is now the number one automaker in the automaker in the world? I will wonder if the cars are made with built-in warming compartments to keep the Chinese takeout warm, while we all are delivering for them as they continue to buy up chunks of our country. <laughs> Oh, God. Mm. That was creeping out, too. Wow. That was creeping out, too. My bad, homie. We heard it coming. My bad, homie. No, it, I it think it's been a battle because I've done a little of this. I'm hearing Charlie doing a little. I all, didn't even laugh. We're all managing. Yeah. What am I doing? I heard a little, I heard a little sniffle, I sniffle little out your way. Over there. Like, Not sniffling. Like a little, you party no, last night? No, I turned to the side and I cough into my shoulder. No, I heard <laughs> it is what I'm saying. A little, uh, I clear my throat, really. Yeah. That's don't, don't, we're, don't you dare. We're not fighting here. Don't you dare, Goulet. <laughs> Big Mike. You don't like this look? Big Mike ain't playing. I you do like the look, but it's Big Robert Mike Goulet. Is. Look, I'm, it's a fashion risk. I'm trying to bring yeah, back I, the mock. Yeah, yeah it's I'm super horny. comfortable. Super comfortable. Like, you're feeling good right now. I feel good. I feel good. No I tie. Think, man, I'm horny. Listen. 
I oh, think it's a clean look. Delete it's comfortable, that. but at the same time, it's a risk. It looks good. You do look like you're, as I think Charlie said, Division II basketball coach. <laughs> said I like that. I remember going into the 2019-20 season when Barubi said Sammy Blay was the best player in training camp. I wonder if coming back to a familiar place will help him return to how good he was before he got hurt that year. Colby Rasmus was dead. Yeah, I, whatever. I mean, it's, it doesn't matter. <laughs> That was the no, that's what the that's what the uh, that's that's what this trade was sort of based on. That Blay will be yeah. Blay again, and if he's not, then he's not. Like and Skinner is a Skinner's going to dominate. Yeah. Skinner's going to do- look. You got Tyler Tucker, so basically you like, you got room to have a kid. I'm not even young. mocking Skinner. I just to me, like I I looked him up, I looked him up again. I'm like, hey, I I know as little now as I did after I looked him up. I'm going to ask Cam. He's a minor league kid. There's nothing to break down. You don't know well, he's yet. young, so you never you know. You don't know. You but just don't know. You can also get first-round picks, and he was a fourth round. You can get a first-round pick, and some of the same questions would still apply. Hell yeah, of You're course. chops are warm. Oh. You could pretend you know more about it. Well, I think uh, the people that do know, like Army, he essentially said, look, this guy has a long way to go to get to the NHL. It's essentially a depth piece replacing Tucker – as he comes up, and I was I was watching both of those clips actually, Barubi and Army. Maybe this is the old TV person in me. Yeah. You know what kind of ticked me off is at first they were talking about both players. Don't get me wrong, I love Nico Mikola, but we need to wait till the end. You need to focus at least the first ten minutes on Vladimir Tarasenko. That's he, the story. He talked about Nico. Well, no, first? like in a way of like there were two guys traded. But it's like, let's focus on Vladdy. Vladdy is yeah. the story. I love Nico Mikola. Of course. But, like, this is about the man who's been with the organization for going on 13 years. He was beloved. Nico's great. Let's focus on Vladdy. I mean, Vladdy would have had a statue. Vladdy would have had 91 up in the rafters. If he would have played five more years here, if they would have signed, maybe he took less money. I don't know. You know? But, like, he would have had to have. And I'm like, because I. He would have broke every record. I, I consider it a privilege to have watched him play. Yeah. I love, and I, I think he's a wonderful guy. Yeah. But he has kind of been playing lately. Like he wanted out. A passenger. No, no, yeah. I know. No, he was a passenger. Wouldn't he you play playing... better, though, if you wanted out? Because you, you think about injuries, dude, I think. That screws up everything. And if you think about injuries, you're not playing hard. And that's usually when you do get hurt, but I you never want to think that way. I think that's an interesting question. And I'm not saying that Vladdy did any of this intentionally, because I don't think he did. I think you fall into a rut, and things aren't going well, and it's maybe hard to say. Yeah. Goes that way in radio, too. Yeah. Not on this show. Just not as important. (laughs) But if I were able to control that, and I wanted out, and I wanted to trade, and everyone already knew that come playoff time, I was going to be the golden chip, you know? Yeah. Then I would not play good so that the price would go down a little bit and it would be easier for teams to trade. Why would you want – you're right. Right, you know, like – Because I'm going to that team. I don't want you getting rid of a good player. Right, you know, right. You know that there's going to be a market for me because of what I do in the postseason, and that's what any trade would be about. Maybe I'll kind of just chill here. So the price goes down. They don't have to part with a guy who might help me get a Stanley Cup. Yeah, okay. Something to think about. Okay, okay. Mayfield is a 30-year-old and at $1.5 million. If he makes it to free agency July 1st, Army can unload one of our high-priced defensemen. Could we get him for $3.5 uh, million for four years? Scotty Mayfield, St. Louis kid, really good player, plays uh, in the island. Um, I, I don't know what the asking price is going to be on that. That's an Andy question. But, like, you're going to unload one of our high-priced defensemen? Oh, okay, how? I'm doing a show. You attach that first round or, like, back in the day? But man, can you play the one that says segment? I love I'm that. about to swarm. 